Hello everyone, how are you all doing? So this is the presentation of How Much Blood is an Anime Character. You're getting the same presentation I gave at Anime 2017, at Anime Con 2017 in Amsterdam, Mekeke's Magical Miracle, as it was titled. So we're fine, we're here to use science to find out how much of all the red gro gory goo stuff are in an anime character, as well as the ramifications of having that much blood in your body. So, I am Fiora. If you're on this channel, you know who I am. This is just a quick little update to that and what I do. And in the meantime, I have to give you a warning. So, this is an adult discussion. There will be gore, blood, guts, blood, and death. Yes or no, I said blood twice. You're here for that, right? Um, all clips are linked in the description below. And are titled Clip 1, Clip 2, Clip 3, Clip 4, Clip 5. I will pause for 10 seconds between when a clip when it comes time to play a clip that'll give you time to pause the video go play the clip and then come back so if you feel queasy upset disturbed or otherwise have an issue feel free to turn the video off i totally understand in the meantime enjoy yourself please share this with all of your friends on facebook twitter and everywhere else because that helps the channel a shitload so put this on every last single social media page you have please and trust me, this will be priceless. So, let's start with this. How much blood is all of this? Well, the lady in the bathtub is sitting in about six human beings worth of blood. Four to six, depending on the size of them and other various calculations. But it takes about, you know, fully draining at least four people to fill that bathtub. And as you can see, it's still flowing in and overflowing. So I would guess about six. The blood death gore rain over here, it's about, you know... 26, 27 liters so far, and it's still raining. And that scene down there we're going to get to, so hold your horses. We are absolutely fascinated with blood when it comes to anime. I mean, the scenes you most remember are full of blood, guts, and gore. See clip one, and 10 second balls. And there are no shortage of anime to pick from. Seriously, there's not. See clip two right now. Now I'm going to show you, in a moment, let me give you a minute, pause the video. You done? Cool. Now I'm going to show you how to determine how much blood is in an anime character of your choice, regardless of the anime you're watching, and therefore be able to figure out how much blood is in your favorite anime. So, how much blood is really here? I mean, it says it holds 107 gallons of it, but what's the truth? So, this is from Blood C, where you calculate the area of the cone of blood in order to get an idea of the amount of volumetric that cone could hold. So, the cone of this spray is 14 feet high, 8 inches, 7 feet 2 inches wide, and has a depth of 4 foot 2. This character is 5 foot 1 based upon the anime it's from. And then we do this. How do we calculate how much blood is in this scene? Well, you calculate the area of the cylinder. This means that when we multiply all this together, we come to 2,044,670 inches. We convert this into centimeters. We get 5,193,461.8 centimeters. And that has a volumetric of 5,193.46 liters of blood is currently spraying out of that guy's head. That's a whole lot of blood. Or 1,371.97 gallons for those of us using the metric systems. About 13 times what was said in the meme. Or, you know, 9 gallons short of what a uh, support fire truck carries. Or if you really want to count them all, I actually put a gallon indicator up for every single drop. Yeah, that's how many gallons that is. 
My head's blocking a little bit of it. So, seeing as this is how we can determine the amount of blood, we need to do a couple things. We need to see where an object we know the size of is next to a single drop of blood. Apologies, I was checking my camera positioning. So, check out clip three. You done? Cool. The relationship of the single drop to the object in terms of size to get a single droplet of blood. One drop is equivalent to 0.05 milliliters in our world. We use this to see how much blood this is. See clip four. I'll wait. You back? No? Okay, I'll wait. Some. You back now? Cool. Now, we see this and must determine how much blood that actually is. Now that we have all of this with us, we know a pint weighs 2.2 pounds or 0.997 kilograms. A pint is 573 milliliters. Taking this scene from the uh, particular fountain of blood we've been studying, that's the wrong slide, we use this. So, Alucard's button. That's right, that little button, that little button is the same size as that drop of blood. We know the size and dimensions is for that button. We take Alucard's button, see how many buttons it takes to cover his entire hand and all the blood in that picture. It's 462 buttons. Each button has a surface area of, of 3.14 centimeters squared. His hand has 306 of those buttons and is doubled for the other side for another 306 buttons. So the surface area of his hand is very large. It's 712 centimeters because his hand is fucking huge. Um, he does wield like guns that are bigger than my arm, so fair enough. And they're pistols. So we take all of that to get the surface area of the blood as 24. Uh, this is to get the surface volumetric. The, so we're taking the two surface areas and combining them and getting the volumetric, not the actual surface area. That is a mistake on my part. I apologize. It's actually centimeters cubed. Uh, 2411.52 centimeters cubed is the volumetric of that blood. We know one drop of blood is 0 0.05 milliliters, which when converting to milliliters to, cent to centimeters, we come out to 1205.76 milliliters of blood or 1.206 liters from that one wound. Now we no need to know how much blood is in one very dead vampire. We need one more comparison. We need to know how much vampire is actually pinned to the wall in the case of this surface area to see how much blood is in him. So Alucard is six foot three or 191 centimeters. His hand is 6% of the length of his body or 11.46 centimeters. Using this, we compare his hand to the vampire in question. We see the vampire in question is 11 lengths, is 11.2 lengths of hand tall, 4.3 hand, Alucard hand lengths wide. His arms are 3.7 hand lengths long and his hand is 0 0.8 the size of Alucard's hand while his feet are 1.1 the size of Alucard's hand. We use these numbers to determine surface area as 48.16 from his heels to his head, plus 5.6 hand lengths for his extremities, and multiply all this times 0 0.7 to account for bone, skin, and other non-gooey organs. We get 37.63 hands of Alucard. If each hand is 1.602 liters, that means that he contains 45.38 liters of blood. He weighs 136.6 kilograms in just blood. Or 301 pounds, if you're using Imperial. How strong are their buildings? Honestly. How much food do these characters need to eat? Is everyone in the anime universe really the Titans from Attack on Titan and the Titans actually won? How much thrust does an aircraft full of people, such as a Boeing 737, require to fly across the ocean? How much of this stuff is made of unobtainium? See, these are the questions that I don't have answers to. See if you can figure them out. Now, this is the bloodiest anime I've ever seen. Helsing Ultimate Abridged. Or Helsing Ultimate, not the abridged version. Don't believe me? Let's take a look at clip five. I'll wait. Go on. It's about two minutes. You done? That entire city of London is flooded by blood up to the first floor of every single building of the city. How much blood is in one person in Helsing Ultimate? How much blood is in Alucard? Let's figure this out. 
All of the blood taken from the manga and from the original author wiki, all of the blood covers the entire city streets of London up to the first story of each building. That is a total of 56 kilometers of road in London, according to the official London Transportation Authority figures. We know there's 32 kilometers of subway and under city roadways, as well as 18 kilometers of sewage. And we know the average house in London is approximately 2.71 meters tall on the first floor and 2.92 meters tall from ceiling of the first floor to the sidewalk by first floor i mean ground floor for you european people each road is an average of seven meters wide at fifty-six thousand meters of road we have thirty-two thousand two hundred. that's an extra zero meters of road squared time oh no that's right it's 392,000 meters of roadway if we account that each road is 7 meters wide at 56,000 meters long. At the road times the height of 2.92 meters, we have a total surface area of 1,144,640 meters of cubed surface area to cover just the roadways up to the top of the ground floor. Each subway is an average length of, th is an average of 3.2 meters in height and 4.2 meters across while each sewer system averages 3.24 meters of height and 1.9 meters across. Taking the total of these, we know we have 430,080 meters cubed for the subway and 99,864 meters cubed for the sewage ways. Add it all together, we have 1,647,584 meters cubed of surface area covered in blood. Each drop of blood has a surface area of 3.14. We convert that to centimeters for the purposes of determining how many drops of blood this is. It is 525,819,376 drops of blood that flood the streets of London or 26,290,968.8 liters of blood. So, that's a really big number. How much blood is that? Like, in all seriousness, how much blood actually is that? Well, Interpol confiscated 26 million liters of alcohol last year that were illegal. The total oil and fuel used by the U.S. locomotive industry from 2000 to 2010 was 25 million 900 thousand liters of diesel. That is twice the amount of blood required for the U.S. medical needs for a year, as illustrated by the American Red Cross. Or this happening 202,013 times. Thank God for boner nosebleeds. Final clip, ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you a moment. That's a lot of blood. So... Further questions that come up for Helsing Ultimate. How much thrust does the Blackbird have to move Alucard? Why does the aircraft carrier not sink from him just walking on it? If Alucard's gun makes his arm recoil, just how much punch does that gun have considering his mass? So, I'm going to go over this formula with all of you, so you can now take it to your favorite anime and determine how much blood there is. Find a scene where there is a single drop of blood where you can compare an object of known size, weight, and density to that drop of blood. Compare the two, determine how large the blood, blood drops are and how thick the blood is. Then take a scene where someone gets turned into a total blood fountain, their death for science. Use what that with the other objects of known size to determine how many drops of blood that is. Using this, using the area of the surface area of things to create the volumetric area of the blood that it covers in total. Then total it all up. And realize just how much blood is in your anime characters. My references for purposes of your knowledge are University of Delaware Professor Patricia M. Walsh from the uh, Department of Biology, uh, Helsing Ultimate, Helsing Ultimate Abridged, Blood the Movie, Blood Plus the Anime Series, Elfin Lied. From it all, from there, it's all math and scientific method, as well as testing, and lastly, the London Department of Transportation. If you would like to see my channel, you can do so at www.youtube.com slash c slash VR the Tank Girl Gamer. I try to put out a science video every single week. And if you have more questions, you are fully allowed to ask them of me in the comments below. However, I am going to answer the one unique question that was asked of me at the convention. How much iron is in all of that blood? 
how, and how much how many swords would that iron make well assuming that each liter of blood contains 3.3 grams of iron we were able to determine that it would make 10,784 katanas and one wakazashi with just a wee little bit of iron left over for maybe a spoon. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. How much blood is in an anime character? Shown to you in about 15 minutes of me talking and another 12 to 15 minutes of various video clips. My hair is still wet, but that's okay with me. In the meantime, if you did like this video, please hit the like button. Make sure that you have shared it on social media with your friends. And I will see all of you next week for 3D Hentai, how it's fucking with your mind and your sex life. In the meantime, from my house to yours, this has been Fiora, and I will see all of you very soon. Bye for now.